What's going on today, guys? Massive Twitter drama here, and today I'm gonna be a part of it. So the story here today starts with the producer known as Knowledge tweeting out this: "Stop rapping slash singing on my beats without my permission, then releasing them on streaming services. I'll keep deleting your songs and albums faster than they get heard. You're getting my own music created on my stream flagged. Stop disrespecting my work and time." Now it doesn't really sound like that bad of a tweet until you realize it was seen by 3 million people. Now keep in mind, Knowledge is a pretty famous producer. He's produced for Kendrick Lamar, Joey Badass, Earl Sweatshirt, I'm sure there's more than that. He also makes some really good instrumental music that's not intended to have anyone doing vocals over it. Definitely someone with some credentials here. If some random producer said this, people would be like, well, did, you know, whatever. But since he's, very well known. Some people had a problem with this. So I'm gonna give some of my opinions here as well as go through some of the replies. Uh, you know, just give overall commentary on the situation. So one of the top replies is someone saying, just spent 15 minutes trying to buy a beat and had no success finding a way to. Don't make it so difficult for artists to pay for your work and you won't have this problem. If you're putting beats on YouTube with no info attached other than a Bandcamp link, you will get robbed. So uh, yeah, the first problem with this is this guy's talking to knowledge as if he's just some random YouTube producer. Clearly has no idea who he's talking to. Either that or he's just trying to play devil's advocate extremely strong here. Now, it is true that people will take your beats and rap on them regardless, but I believe what knowledge was speaking of was people uploading it to streaming services, specifically places that monetize it. Once people upload it to streaming services, if anyone else uploads it, it may get flagged and not be allowed to be uploaded or it may get uh, taken down for copyright issues. I believe what is happening here is people are either ripping his music off his streams when he makes it, or they're ripping it off his YouTube and SoundCloud before he either clears the samples or decides to release it on streaming platforms. And this person says, you know that producers exist outside of the Beat Lee slash Beat Stars universe, right? I think a lot of people forget that because beat making has become kind of a different thing than it used to be. There used to be people just making beats without the intention of them being rapped to. But ever since like, um, I don't know, maybe the past like five, five-ish years or so, there's just been an influx of people trying to make beats for rappers specifically. Sage Francis says, sadly, this is the reason we don't do remix contests anymore. It was a really fun event for years until people started uploading the remixes to streaming services as if they actually own the song. Like I said, the operative phrase here is streaming services. I don't think it's a big problem if you just upload it to SoundCloud or YouTube unmonetized. Not that that's okay, but you're not really causing any issues for the copyright holder in that case. And obviously there's some people just trolling quick someone send me a link to his shit so i can rap on it which is kind of funny to me because like how fucking dumb do you have to be to not be able to find this producer's music like literally just type his name anywhere and you can find it this person has the right take here why are all the replies so offended read his tweet again his work is being stolen profited off and making his own work get flagged and taken down the frustration is very reasonable yeah, there's definitely a lot of people who feel entitled to beats like if you can't get beats from someone then just get them from someone else that's the end of it. They're probably doing so to wrap some super garbage bars for seven likes and 33 views too. Take it easy. They're, they're not getting that many likes or views. You're not wrong, but it's kind of ironic since you were using Meek's freestyles and putting them over your beats. So Knowledge did this remix series before uh, where he would take Meek Mill's old freestyles and then he would uh, remix them. And I think he just uploaded them to his YouTube or something like that. Not exactly certain where they were uploaded specifically at this point. But basically, according to Knowledge, he did get permission from the videographer who taped it, which I believe is the only person he would need permission from in order to upload something like that. Uh, it's a little bit different than like if you're remixing a song, because I think this is just like a remix on the street where someone was just filming him just saying some random shit. Technically, the videographer, I think, is the only person you need permission from. But I think it ended up getting taken down because of uh, Meek Mill's label. So some people are trying to call him out on some uh, hypocrisy here, but I don't think much of the hypocrisy holds any weight. Another uh, take that people had about the hypocrisy, I guess, was uh, he understood well the politics of copyright as a creative burden hip hop transgresses. So he does kind of have a point there, especially since not just music is heavily based off of sampling you know he doesn't completely always own the the rights to the music that he's using or he's he is already kind of in the gray area since he's sampling music quite often i do believe for his official releases he does get it cleared when i say official releases things that go to streaming services i doubt everything on his youtube is completely cleared and i'm okay with that i think i think with sampling there's definitely 
a legal gray area that you can work with. I mean, the whole genre of hip hop and making beats is based off of sampling things, which is not a completely legal practice to begin with. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I haven't sampled things and even upload, uploaded them to streaming services before. So yeah, some people seem to think that sampling is the same thing as what is going on here. And I would not say taking someone's beat and rapping over it and not changing it at all is the same thing as sampling something and altering it creatively. You know, sampling could be something that's very creative or not that creative, depending on the context. And I would say knowledge does it pretty creatively. Although this is definitely a very subjective thing, but I would not say it's the same thing. It, I would say it would be a lot similar if people took the beats that he rapped on and then altered them in some way that they would not get claimed and then rapped on them. But even then, it's is it the same thing? I don't know. Maybe somewhat, maybe like halfway the same thing. Now, obviously, there's a lot of people trolling. I don't even rap, but someone sent me his beats. I just don't, I don't really get the joke because it's like you could, you just look it up. Just fucking look it up. Like, I feel like the joke would be funnier if you like stole his beat, rapped on it, then put it in the replies. That's funnier than saying, send me his beats because then you're just sound, you just sound like an idiot because you're just acting like you don't know how to use Google. Okay. Now here's a guy with a sock account promoting his own shit. Why are y'all so mad? He doesn't want his beats wrapped on without permission. Here's a person self-promoting. Maybe do a release for artists that want to rap on your beats and stop gatekeeping mixtape culture. Telling an artist not to gatekeep their own music and give you free shit is crazy talk. Sorry, I just had to get these bars off. How do they get your permission? By not having such fucking creepy eyes, probably. That's why we need music on the blockchain. No, we don't. No, we do not. I feel like all these people are trying to laugh in his face, like should be like kind of blackballed or shunned from the producer community it's just really in bad taste i feel like it's not the same thing and you look like a goofball here's a person giving advice on how to get away with it shame on you broke rappers steal beats so be the spider wait patiently if the song blows up eat your prey sue the artist for unlawful use take 100 percent ownership of their song secure all future royalties and recover those damages this is why pros don't steal see the thing is though like he has samples in his music and i think like this would be it would take a lot more investment to do something like this because like you have to pay out for samples. So if you're paying out for samples and then you're hoping someone is going to blow up off the song and then you could like sue them for unlawful use, you're putting down a lot of money for something that might not actually happen. Stop rapping and reoffending. You know that trap needs mending. <sighs> I think we found the culprit here, guys. These same N-words are the reason why I just use real instruments. I love sampling, but these dudes are too lazy. I don't think using samples are too lazy. Did you hear that song in the beginning earlier? It had several samples all layered on top of each other, and it sounded fucking amazing. It sounded way better than anything you can make without samples. So there's just some horrendous nuclear takes in this thread. I've, I've been screenshotting them all day here. Who are you? Stop posting beats, lol. How do I punch someone through the internet? I fuck with your work heavy, but bruh, ain't the whole point of posting is to have people rap slash sing over it. There's no, there's no reason people would just want to listen to it either. If you don't want people doing that, then just keep the good ones to yourself. I don't want people to hear my good music. You know, I don't want them to steal it. That's why he, he's saying that he's tripping, but like in reality, this guy's tripping. Motherfuckers are writing this shit on Christmas too, by the way. Another motherfucker saying quick, send me links like a rap on his shit without his permission. How is everyone this dumb? Need help with father, only parent left and he has cancer, need money for his antibiotics and to keep up with his radiation. I think this person found their way onto the wrong thread here. This is this is clearly a mistake. They didn't mean to post this in a knowledge thread, right? Producers who think like this are so dumb and don't understand business. Imagine if I run a sandwich shop, someone comes in and steals a sandwich. That person might have stole, but if they really enjoys that sandwich, they're coming right back, maybe with 10 friends. Yeah, they're coming right back to steal more sandwiches. It's hard to believe that this isn't satire. These people are really this stupid though. Now that's the same more about Twitter or does it say more about rappers? I'm not 100% certain yet. Man needs to accept that plagiarism, I like the way you spell that there, is a massive part of art and that he needs to actually be happy about it. I, I don't think they're understanding here that they are copywriting, they are, they're posting the music on the streaming services before he can, therefore not allowing him to post his own music. He will never get any grime MCs to vocal anything of his at this rate. Who fucking, can, why, what's, what's the focus of grime MCs here? What the fuck? Plagiarism is a massive part of life. I almost feel like I'm just being massively trolled here. Plagiarism is a massive part of life. Give glory to God and be grateful not hateful. This has to be a troll. There's no way this is not a troll. I wake up I wake up every day and I pray to God, please let somebody plagiarize my shit. 
please. Okay, here we go. Twitter is literally full of the most asinine and dumb people. These replies are something. They really are. I just, dude, I think rappers are like really fucking stupid. I don't know. I don't think there's like, maybe there's a few that aren't stupid, but I have a feeling a lot of them are really stupid. He sells direct. This isn't an e-commerce shop. Okay, great reply there. I feel that 100%. However, I wouldn't have known that unless someone told me. Maybe you could assume it from the fact that you can't find a place to buy it. If he wants people to pay him for his work, then I'm suggesting he make it a little easier for artists to figure out how to do so. He's not asking you to pay him for his work. He's asking you to just not do it to begin with. So then someone quote tweeted here, you can't be a sample producer saying shit like this. You better pay it for them hundreds of uncleared samples and acapellas you use. I do think there is like some truth to this in a way. I, I think the mistake here is he doesn't get that he's saying that people are posting his own music to streaming services and getting his own music flagged down. Like, I don't, I don't know if he has a problem with people using his beats as much as using his beats and then posting it to streaming services and then not allowing him to, like, keep his own music. Basically, they are claiming the copyright on it. This whole knowledge argument isn't that difficult to comprehend. It's quite simple. 97% of rappers suck and nobody wants to hear their work ruined by said rappers. If you're a rapper and you're nice, then you'll have no issue getting beats. The only thing is this guy is not understanding what he was saying either, which is kind of, this is really ironic here because he's saying it's not that difficult to comprehend, but yet he is not comprehending it here. It has nothing to do with the level of the rapper. It has to do with the fact that they are taking it and getting and putting it out there on streaming services before he can or putting it out afterwards and then getting it flagged down i like this one here people in the comments saying knowledge doesn't make it easy for artists to buy beats bro is solidified please try to buy a madlib beat see how it goes for you don't you litter silly sample music so what have we learned here today people have terrible reading comprehension like maybe it's slightly hypocritical of knowledge to say that but it depends how you interpret the tweet that he made originally what do you guys think about this in the comments here is knowledge right? Is knowledge a hypocrite? I mostly think knowledge is in the right here. I do kind of, I do kind of get where people are coming from with the hypocrite argument, but I don't think it's as strong of an argument as they think it is. It's not one to one comparison. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. If we get to twenty five thousand by the end of the year, I have to shave my head. So help me shave my head. Help me make my nightmare become a reality. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bang Incorporated.